the divide couldn't be clearer. Tensions ran high in Melbourne as protests unfold across the country. Pro-Palestinian camps have now been set up at universities in Melbourne, Sydney, Canberra, Adelaide and Perth, inspired by the movement in the US. We plan to stay out here uh, as long as we can until the university meets our demands. These University of Sydney protesters have been sleeping out for more than a week. Other camps have sprung up more recently. We're asking for our own university to disclose their full ties with weapons companies. Free, free Palestine! Monash University students claim their camp was attacked overnight. Police say 10 people were moved on just before 1am. At the University of Melbourne today, Jewish students held a counter rally. Um, of course, if it remains peaceful, that is great. We fear that it won't, based on prior trends. It's just been really, really difficult. And honestly, like, I don't want to come into school every day because I know that it's something that I'm going to interact with. A week in, the students on the other side are digging in. Our peers have been massacred over in Gaza, and so we take that responsibility, that ethical and moral responsibility, extremely seriously. The two rallies were initially a few hundred metres apart from one another. We have had some of the uh, pro-Israeli students who have come up to the encampment. It is remaining peaceful, they're just exchanging chants and songs, but they are staying separate from one another. At this stage, there are no plans from universities to shut down the camps. At the end of the day, freedom of speech and free speech, this is it in action, right? Free speech is uncomfortable. If these protests are becoming violent or are making uh, people on campus, students on campus, feel unsafe in any way, it is absolutely unacceptable and there has to be a line in the sand. Getting agreement on drawing that line could be difficult. Natalie Whiting, ABC News, Melbourne.